everyone! Welcome to Cricut Time! If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to use Cricut's Print Then Cut feature. For this tutorial, I will be showing you on these birthday takes, but you can apply the same procedure to any of your Print Then Cut projects. I have a tag that I want to use saved on my desktop on the right. Let's start by putting it in Design Space. Just click Upload, then upload again. Drag over the file. I always click complex, then continue. Now on this screen you have two options, cut or print then cut. That's the one we want today. Upload it, then click insert. You'll know you did it right because over on the side it says print then cut. I'm going to turn this into gift bag tags so I need to cut it out in a circle. So I'll just take a circle shape and line it up where I want to make the cut. Then select both layers and click slice. This will cut a circle out of the design that I want to keep. I can just select the extra layers that I don't need and press delete. Because this is going to be a tag, we also need to cut out a little hole for the string to go in. Just add a little circle and do the same process. Select both layers and click Slice. Then just delete the little parts you don't need. Now it is ready to cut. I need six of these, so I'll just copy and paste six times. Now we can press Make It. And once we get to this screen, you'll see there is a big rectangle around the design now. This is there so your machine can detect the cut so it goes in the right place. Press Continue, and the first thing you'll do is print it. Send this to your printer, and while your design is printing, you can set up the cut. Choose your material. For this project, I'm just using normal printer paper. Now that my design is printed, I just have to put my paper on the mat. Using a brayer to stick it down to the mat is always a good idea with paper. Once you're ready, just load it into your Cricut and it will do the rest. My design is printed and cut out, now I can peel off the paper. For the part with the design on it, it's important to flip it upside down and peel the mat away from the paper so it lies flat and doesn't curl up. These tags were easy to make and came out perfectly. If you haven't tried Print Then Cut yet, don't be afraid to give it a try. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.